In this video, I want to talk about a crypto project that is a huge game changer. It's solving a major problem. It unlocks a ton of untapped potential in this space. We're seeing lots of momentum already generated for this particular project, particularly with decentralized finance or DeFi. I want to talk about that in this video today as a blockchain developer who works this technology on a daily basis, talk about what this project is, why you need to know about it, and why there's so much hype about it right now. So before we get into that, you know, if you're new around here, hey, I'm Gregory, and on this channel, I turn you into a blockchain master. So if that's something that you're interested in, then smash that like button down below for the YouTube algorithm and subscribe to this channel. And if you want to, to become a blockchain master step by step start to finish, then head on over to dappuniversity.com forward slash bootcamp to get started today. So what is this crypto project that I'm so excited about? Well, it's Polygon, which is previously known as Matic. And we've seen a ton of hype around this project lately for lots of good reasons. All right. The cryptocurrency prices actually performed pretty well over the past several months, despite the latest downturn they've even seen in crypto prices. And so what is it? What do you need to know about it? And why am I so personally excited about this project for the future? Well, as always, this is not financial advice and full disclosure. I don't personally hold any Matic tokens. And this is not like a sponsored video or anything like that. But Polygon is solving a major problem for blockchain technology, particularly in the area of scalability. So one of the biggest complaints I've seen about Ethereum over the past you know, year or so is it's too slow, it's too expensive, nobody's going to use it. If we need this technology to actually be capable of mass adoption, we can process tons of transactions and more people who just want to trade small amounts of money or use that in DeFi can do it without having to be you know rich in the first place. So that's where Polygon comes into play. So they started off with the Matic blockchain which is a side chain for Ethereum, and I believe they like to call it a scaling solution. But that's an important distinction from other types of scaling solutions we'll talk about here in a minute. We'll break all that down. But essentially what it does is it creates an environment to execute smart contracts that can power blockchain-based applications like for DeFi, tokens, NFTs, in a way that greatly reduces the cost for the end user and makes it a lot faster. So instead of paying really you know large fees on Ethereum and waiting a long time for transactions to confirm, you can do it faster and cheaper on Polygon. Now, there are definitely some trade-offs associated with this. I'll also clarify what those are here in a minute, but it's also important to understand that Polygon's positioning themselves as a complement to Ethereum, being a scaling solution for uh, Ethereum itself. They even call themselves Ethereum's Internet of Blockchains. So again, we've seen a ton of hype around Polygon as a scaling solution for Ethereum, really helping this technology become mature over time. We saw that Mark Cuban invested in Polygon. He's really bullish on the project long term, you know, saying that they're destroying everybody else in crypto. So why is that? Well, for lots of reasons, but one reason initially is that they already have a scaling solution for Ethereum live right now that's already gotten a lot of traction, okay? And we've already seen uh, really famous decentralized finance apps or dApps like Aave and others already migrate to the Matic scaling solution. So let's explain what it is. So again, uh, a Polygon is previously Matic and they've rebranded and they're expanding into more scaling solutions. But let's look at the very first use case, which is Matic. So basically, this is a side chain to Ethereum. And I think they don't really like it when I call it that. But the whole idea here is this is an entirely different chain that bridges over to Ethereum with its own, you know, security model, its own consensus mechanism. But it actually, you know, bridges from the Ethereum chain. So you can move from Ethereum over to Matic in order to interact with dApps and smart contracts on top of this platform. Now, it does have its own native cryptocurrency, the Matic token. That's the one that's performed so well in price. So let's see some of the reasons why. Well, basically, one of the reasons that this particular blockchain has taken off so well, the scaling solution, is because it's really easy for applications that are already built on top of Ethereum to move over to Matic. It's what's called an EVM compatible chain or Ethereum virtual machine, which means you can take smart contracts that have already been created on Ethereum and easily port them over to Matic with minimal effort. And then basically, you know, apps like Aave, who have already done this, can offer incentives for people to move over from Ethereum to Matic to help off offload some of this congestion, and they can bridge some of their assets from ETH over to Matic to get on the activity there. And what we're seeing right now on top of Matic is very similar to what happened with Ethereum back in 2020 during DeFi summer, where we saw an explosion of DeFi activity with yield farming. Where people can get really high yields on projects by like buying tokens, putting them into a project, and earning really high interest rates that way. We're also seeing a you know entire ecosystem of DeFi applications on top of this Matic scaling solution, like decentralized exchanges changes in addition to the other DeFi projects, people can, you know, uh, buy tokens, farm with them, get the yields, swap them for other tokens, and they can do all this with a user experience that people really want to have in DeFi long term, which is low transaction fees, fast confirmation times. So for example, when you have people who are, you know, priced out of trading tokens on Uniswap over on Ethereum, they can move over to Matic and trade tokens much cheaper without the exorbitant fees and the same thing for yield farming, etc, etc. And so that's how the initial Matic scaling solution works. But like I said before, you 
you know, Polygon is positioning themselves to be an entire scaling suite for Ethereum with multiple different solutions long term. So the Matic scaling solution is the initial one. That's the one that has a lot of traction. But you can see this tweet thread here put out by Matic that talks about, you know, their uh, future plans about what they're going to launch and how they differ from one another, what the benefits that they're going to provide. So, you know, in addition to this Matic scaling solution, they're also getting into the roll up technology space. So roll ups are what I categorize an actual layer two, where you create a second layer that works on top of the Ethereum blockchain that actually derives from its security model. So instead of having, you know, a different chain that sits next to Ethereum that has its own security model, you have a different uh, environment that actually sits on top of the Ethereum network where you can do transactions and the uh, the result of those is rolled up and put onto the main Ethereum chain itself. And so that's what rollups are and you can see a more detailed breakdown of this in their blog post that is linked to on that tweet thread, okay? So you can see what, you know, what are rollups here? So basically rollups are a way to bypass the problem of Ethereum node has of executing all the transactions at once inside the block. So <laughs> it's a really fancy way of just saying what I said a minute ago where you can take a lot of transactions, compute them in a different environment and then the result gets stored on the actual uh, main Ethereum chain itself. And there's two different types of rollup technology. There's optimistic rollups and there's ZK rollups. Okay, so optimistic rollups are basically a way where developers can move their contracts over to this environment with hardly any friction. We see lots of optimistic rollup solutions coming out in the short to midterm because it's so easy for apps to move over. And then we also have zero knowledge based rollups, which require some more retooling, but they provide less of a degree of trust for that particular scaling solution to work at all because they work with zero knowledge proof. And so this rollout based technology is something that's going to work with Ethereum long term, even into Ethereum 2.0. We see Vitalik even talking about this, how the long term vision for Ethereum being really fast and scalable, ready for prime time is basically having Ethereum 2.0 ship and then having layer two scaling solutions like rollups on top of it so that it can achieve the you know total future that it wants to have. And one of the reasons so bullish on Polygon in this particular ecosystem as a whole is because they are expanding into all different aspects of scaling. So with their original Matic scaling solution and these other roll-up based technologies over the long term. Because at the end of the day, the community is going to decide, you know, what's best. Do they like optimistic roll-ups? Do they like ZK roll-ups? Do they like side chains the best? And ultimately, the market will decide and time will tell. But the cool thing about Polygon is they're positioning themselves to capture all of these different solutions over time. And so whatever they decide, they'll be positioned to, you know, capitalize on that. And so if they're able to successfully implement, you know, any or all these solutions, you know, whatever one gets decided, whichever one has the most market share, they're going to be you know right there in the thick of things. So in summary, you know, what is Polygon? What is Matic? It's a comprehensive scaling solution for Ethereum with its original Matic scaling solution with optimistic rollups. It's solving the problem that Ethereum has, which is too slow. It's too expensive in its current form. Don't forget, we're moving towards Ethereum 2.0 right now. Ethereum is going to get much faster, much cheaper to use long term. But still, the long term vision is to have Ethereum 2.0 and have these other layer two scaling solutions work on top of it to make Ethereum everything it wants to be, where it can be inexpensive to use to process an insane number of transactions. And Polygon is working really hard to create multiple options to scale Ethereum and help it realize that vision. And they're doing a great job of it. They already have a solution out there that's working, that has a ton of traction and popular applications already being built on top of it with network effect and real users. So that's a really great early sign. And then we have a lot of exciting developments coming out down the road as well. So that's all I got for today. As always, smash that like button down below for the YouTube algorithm. Subscribe to this channel if you haven't already. That really helps these videos out so the more people can learn about blockchain. You know, if you're as fast at this technology as I am, you want to get your hands dirty, how can you get started today? You go to my YouTube homepage, you can find any of my free courses there. They're like Udemy courses, but they're totally free. And if you like those and you want to take the next step, or hey, maybe you'll take a master shortcut entirely, I actually become a blockchain master step-by-step from start to finish over at dappuniversity.com forward slash bootcamp. You have to be an expert to get started today. I've helped people with zero coding experience become real world blockchain developers in a matter of months. So that's all I've got. Until next time, thanks for watching Dapp University.